Thank you for your interest in our data science intensive position. While we have enjoyed your viewing application, we have decided to move on with other candidates who match our interest. We wish you all the best in your internship search. And guys, that was my reality a couple of months ago when I was looking for data science internship opportunities. Um, in fact, I applied to over 200 um, companies, 200 data science internship positions. And I got a lot of rejections, a lot of rejections. But then I finally landed one um, offer. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about how the process went for me, how I went through the application process, the challenges I faced, how I approached my interviews, and hopefully you learned a thing or two from it. Uh, before we get into it, my name is Prosper. I transitioned from a non-CS background to data science, and I recently interned as Capital One. That was um, um, summer 2022. Uh, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the content as, um, as always, and share this video with others as well. Um, let's get into it. Somewhere last year, July 20, um, 2021, I decided to pursue data science intention opportunities. Um, so the first thing I did was to get my resume ready. So I drafted my resume and um, with the help of others like my mentors and um, people I, I, the networks I made on LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn is very powerful, don't take that for granted. Um, I was able to um, draft my resume and I started putting in applications. Um, that's um, the whole of September I was putting in applications. I think I put in about 100 applications or so. So I kept putting in applications. Um, I kept getting rejections, especially wake up in the morning, like you pick your phone, only check your email. That's the first thing you see. That was very frustrating at the time. But then nothing stopped. I just kept putting in applications and I got a couple of interviews. I think I've, um, um, out of the 100 applications I put in, I got about 20 um, interviews. And usually the first round of interviews kind of like send your coding assessment or a data challenge. Um, the coding assessment were mostly on code signal or hacker rank. And the data challenge, they send you data, you can analyze the data and build models. So um, I had a couple of these like challenges and uh, the coding assessments. And I work on it, submit it, someone I get rejection, someone I, I go to the next level. Um, and I just kept, um, kept going. Um, so for the entire month of September, I did, as I said, I did about 20, uh, 20 interviews out of these 20, I only went to, um, one final round. I was with Dropbox. Uh, how, unfortunately for me, I got rejected a week later of my final interview. Um, which was cool. I mean, given that was my first, first ever on-site, um, data science interview, uh, coming from a non CS background and non statistics background and all that. I was, I just took it. I mean, I did my best. So I kept going, applying. And, um, one thing I did was I had a tracking sheet an Excel sheet, which track uh, all the companies that I applied to and the level that I got to that. So if let's apply and I got rejected in the second round, I'll put, I'll note that down. So I had an Excel sheet, which I, I used to track all my applications. Um, this was just to help me to like, um, know how I'm doing, um, which areas I should focus on and how, um, regards like my studies, like, um, whether I should focus more, more on the behavioral, I should focus more on the technical stuff, the machine learning, like, um, stuff. This, the tracking sheet, um, really, um, helped me. So, uh, fast forward to October, I still kept applying, interviewing, doing a lot of lead code and, um, and all that. I didn't do much of lead code because, um, um, I felt like coming from a non-CS background, like, and, uh, applying data science positions, it didn't uh, require hardcore coding, but then there were a couple of companies that, uh, um, a number of companies that required me to do hardcore lead code. For example, I applied to the Facebook machine learning software engineer, like internship position. I had two rounds of lead code. I passed the first round, but I couldn't pass the second round. The first one was on like trees, heaps, uh, tr um, trees, arrays, and the second one was like dynamic, uh, dynamic programming. I don't want to go into details of that, but then I didn't make it out of that round. Um, so fast forward to the last week in um, October, I had two very important interviews, two, co two companies with Robin Hood and Lyft. I really like these two companies, like the, the job description and, and, and all that. So uh, for Robin Hood, 
had a second round for um lifts i had a data challenge that was also the second round second round as well data ch take home data challenge um the week um a week later um i got rejected from these two like um companies and let me tell you how it happened so i was on a call with my friends we were all just talking like we we're all applying to intentions but we we're all just talking and within a period of five minutes i got rejected by these two companies that's lift and robin hood that was very that was a tough one for me to take and at the time that was the only two interviews i had left those were the only two interviews i had as lift and robin hood right um so i was very heartbroken i was like no i'm not doing this anymore i'm done let me just focus on my phd and all that so two days later and um um, I had done the data challenge for Capital One. That was like somewhere in uh, um, it's, it's the last week in September or the first week in October. So then um, I didn't hear from them. So I just forgot about like the entire application was like process. Just focus on other companies. So then I got an email from the recruiter. Oh, that's I've passed it, the round. And then um, the next round is the final round, um, final round of interviews, which would be a week later. So it's like, this is the last one let me just try if this doesn't work out then i mean i've done my best and that's it so i prepared and yeah when i paid for the interview it was it was cool the questions were okay the interviewers were friendly and yeah it was it was a standard interview which i really enjoyed and the recruiter had told me that i was going to get a feedback from them 24 hours later so the next day, I couldn't do anything. I was just in bed. It's like, oh my God, what's going to happen today? I kept waiting for the recruiter. And around 3.30 p.m., um, I got a call and um, was my recruiter. And um, she communicated to me that I'd been given an offer that's uh, assigned to the McLean office. And I was super excited that day. Guys, that was the last interview. That was the last company. And... It was almost time for Christmas, like, no, I'm done with these interviews. I was super excited. So that's, I mean, guys, that's how I um, landed my internship. It wasn't easy, a lot of challenges and all that. Um, just to round up, I have um, a few key things, a few things I want to uh, touch on. The first one is um, to learn an internship, especially as, as an international student, is very difficult. And for me, coming from a non-CS background was very um tough for me as well so um but then you just have to make sure you keep believing in yourself you don't give up um now and you know the first thing is like try to um learn the skills out code out to code out to um, manipulate data and all that comfortable wrangling data and all that then build projects um organize your portfolio resume your linkedin profile um yeah once you have all those things in place you can start putting in applications and don't wait for anybody to come and tell you that oh you can't do this you can't do that work on your projects put in applications and you definitely are going to have a chance um at getting an internship um and um finally another important thing it's like while all these things are important like um your the technical skills are important i also feel like um i also think from my experience the soft skills are also very um crucial in the in the interview process so sometimes the interviewers want to see like can they can they work with this person? Is it possible they can work with you? Can they relate to, with you at the job place? So that is very one very thing that like, you should uh, definitely uh, not take for granted. So for example, like you meet the hiring manager, you should be able to like connect with him on that level. Like should like no, this is the person I can. This guy I can work with him, and. Um, I didn't know at the beginning of my interview, but then I got to learn that in the process. Another thing is um, the interviews. Like um, you should always try and keep your thoughts, like your um, your answers organized, structured, and um, that helps you to communicate uh, better. Um, I'm gonna have later videos where I'll talk about interviews into details and um, all that. Then thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video with others as well. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.